Hey there, Leo. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot. I'm a witch and a tarot card reader, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo for the week of May 23rd. If this one doesn't resonate so much, Leo, please check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You may want to do this anyway, since there could be messages there for you. If you are involved with the Leo, please keep in mind that everything here could be reversed for you. Just interpret it as it makes sense. If you would like your own private reading, you can find all of my info down below in the description box. My least expensive is $20 for a quick reading. I have a $50 reading that's a lot like the ones I post here on YouTube. It's a deep dive into a relationship or a situation. If you really have something complicated going on, I have a 10 question $75 reading. All right, we're looking at the overall energy here, Leo. I'm also going to pull cards for your person. I'll clarify everything in real time. The yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe for me since I post weekly. And if you would like your uh, extended reading, click the join button down below. It's 10 bucks. You get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for an entire month. If you're on an iPhone or an iPad, it won't show up the first time. You have to be on a desktop to see it. All right, so... Whoever this person is, I don't, I doubt that they're speaking with you. We have not today, not dealing, hurt, awaiting a con or avoiding a conversation, call person, boundaries, still angry. And I do think that this person is, you know, losing their shit here, losing their shoot. Um, we've got the five of wands, which is a conflict. This could be an inner conflict for the person. It could be conflict between the two of you or drama or fighting, Maybe the two of you had an argument. Maybe the two of you are not on the same page here. And this person is feeling some kind of way about it. We have the King of Cups in reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person could be a water sign. There could be a water in their chart, specifically the moon and Venus. However, sometimes the, it's just the energy of that card. And this is someone who is not handling their emotions very well. They're sort of overwhelmed by their emotions. Again, feeling a little bit batshit crazy. That's kind of what this person is going through. We have the moon, Cancer, and Pisces energy. The moon is things that are hidden, things that are down beneath the surface. You may not even be talking to this person, or they're, they may be silent and quiet, but there's a lot going on behind the scenes that you don't know about. Um, the moon can also be like someone got triggered. Like there are issues in the past. Maybe there's some psychological stuff here, depression, anxiety, and the nine of swords, which is worry, fear. Um, it's also someone like ruminating about the situation. Like I can't stop thinking about it. I'm replaying these conversations and, you know, what if I'd said this differently or what if I had done that differently? It's someone kind of in their head about you in this relationship. We also have mask, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, gaslighting. Whatever went on between the two of you, they're not able to handle it. They're not dealing with it. They're trying to pretend it's not a problem. And, you know, that's probably not the helpful thing to do here. So let's check out this person's energy. All right, here's what I have so far, Leo. I'm also going to clarify this with the Tarot of Mystic Mondays. This is the Tarot of Mystical Moments on the table. You can find links to both of those down below in the description box. So the good news is, is that this person hasn't given up on this relationship. The Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. It's someone who's still carrying a torch for you. You know, the, the wounded warrior hasn't left his post. He isn't abandoning the project. Um, she's still here waiting Someone who's kind of tired and exhausted and been through a lot, but not giving up. Um, we've got the Two of Cups in reverse as well, which there is a strong connection between the two of you. I think that there's a good partnership here, but the two of you are not seeing eye to eye right now. So, you know, the, the relationship is struggling. Now, the bad, we've got the Three of Wands. I think this person may be waiting to hear from you. They may be waiting for you to make that first move. Sometimes this is being patient. It's like waiting for communication to come in. This may also be a long distance relationship between the two of you. We've got the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra energy. They could be an air sign or someone with air in their chart. 
Knight of Swords can also mean someone who's impulsive, like they don't have a plan necessarily. They may blurt stuff out. Um, they may have said something stupid here or done something kind of like thoughtless and, and you know, something not altogether good and healthy for this relationship. We have the Eight of Swords, which is self-limiting behavior, self-sabotage. Again, I do think that they're up in their head about this relationship. Instead of talking about it with you, it's like they're they're doing this internal conversation instead. We also have the High Priestess, Pisces energy. This person could be a Pisces. They also may be trying to use their intuition. Maybe they've been dreaming about you. Maybe you've been dreaming about them. But the High Priestess is also someone who's kind of secretive, kind of quiet here. I just don't think that they're necessarily handling this in the best way. All right, Leo. Tell me about Leo's person here. I wonder if you've handled it in the past. We have the Empress, Taurus, and Libra energy, the Divine Feminine, the Wife, the Mother. She's very nurturing, very caring. They could be nurturing themselves. This may also be someone who feels like you're very attractive, like you have it together. Um, maybe that you're a little more mature than they are here. See, Three of Wands. They're watching... They're almost, I think, wanting you to handle this. Maybe you've done that in the past and you're not doing it this time. All right. Tell me about Leo's person here. All right. We've got the Nine of Cups and we've got the Two of Swords. Nine of Cups is someone who's being a little more selfish, a little more self-centered, putting themselves first. The Two of Swords making some head over heart decisions here. They haven't given up on this relationship. They don't want, they don't want to lose you, but it's like they don't want to fix it either. They don't want to be the one to bend, maybe. This person could be kind of stubborn. I've got the death card in reverse. I'm not gonna change um, that Scorpio energy. I'm refusing to do what I need to do here. So I think you're at an impasse with this person. They know that they messed up. You know that they messed up. They want it, they want it to be fixed, but I don't think they want to fix it. They want you to do it. All right. Tell me about Leo's person here. I don't know what went down, but it wasn't good. person here. Well, we got the High Priestess again. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Pisces here. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, which is a missed opportunity in love. And we've got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Bad luck, bad fortune, someone who slipped off their path here. They've got both the Death card and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This is someone seriously wandering off their path. Um, they value this connection. They see it as valuable, but it's like they're not willing to, to do what they need to do in order to shift this or to change what's going on here. Um, let's do a little bit of a preview of the extended reading. Let's figure out how this person feels about you. All right, so how does this person feel about Leo? How does Leo's person feel about them? How does Leo's person feel about them? All right. Well, we've got the three of coins. That is a dating and a friendship card. Three of coins is someone who wants to work with you. They probably feel like when things are good between you, they're very good. 
they feel like this is a good relationship, that the two of you want the same things, uh, that you collab like this is the collaboration, cooperation, conversation card. The two of you get along well with one another. And again, the Ace of Pentacles came out earlier. I think that they feel that this is a valuable connection. They're kind of being a baby about it. Um, how does this person feel about Leo? We've got the Four of Swords. They need a break. They're resting and healing, trying to get themselves together here. Like, they're, they're not doing so hot is the bottom line. All right, Leo, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want the rest of the extended, click the join button down below. It's 10 bucks. You get access to all of the extended. If you're on an iPhone or an iPad, it won't show up. You have to be on a desktop to see it. If you would like your own reading, you can find all those details down below. Uh, please like and subscribe since I post weekly and blessed be.